So if you want to see how the WR mouse is built, how it compares to other mice, including the components, the switches, the MCU, sensor, and the general construction and quality of this to make sure it's what you want to pick, then this is a video for you because I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to take a very, very deep look at it inside. If you're not sure who I am, I'm Billy Bob. Been gaming for 35 years, go over 230 miles, well into gaming, even at my age. So if you're into that kind of stuff and testing gaming gear and really taking a good look, this is the channel for you. So time to take apart the Beast X WL mouse. Should be fairly quick. At the weight, they said 40 grams. Got two screws, which is good to see. They are under the main big escape, but not under the little dots. They're nicely positioned the dots out of the way of it as well, by the looks of it. Assuming there's none at the front, which I'm pretty sure there isn't. And it's just a standard. So there's definitely worn ribbon cable. It's connected into the top side buttons and then obviously into the PCB. Do this part first. I mean, there isn't much to it. Look at the side button construction, they've definitely trimmed away all the PCB, which is good to see. They've done a good job of getting the weight out of this. They're using micro. Which is bad looks of it on the sides. Bigger head. Could have slightly scratched it out. And the side buttons don't fall out. Like the Starlight 12. They'll fix that on the uh, Ultralight X, I think, if I remember rightly. PCB's interesting with these little... It's not reflective, it's nice and thin as well. It's using the... Uh, I think disappointed is they're using... Just checking his mouse out, it's getting a bit old. Yeah, they're using the Omron side switches, which means you can switch them over. It's got little side paddles, but that's the only disappointment. I don't particularly like the Omron ones. They've done an excellent job, even they're below a gram. Got a different design for the buttons to uh, the final mouse. Starlight 12 anyway. I didn't find these to be heavy at all, like the Starlight 12. I mean, they're using magnesium. I don't know if they've tweaked it slightly or something, but the final mouse certainly suffered from having a heavier press, but maybe we'll look at the switch and see. They've gone for more traditional plunger design as well. Unlike the Starlight, we suffered from a different style. They've also got little um, posts here. What do like? It's like they've got a Mailar pad underneath, which is only a little bit of a concern because sometimes they slip off. You see them under there? You can quite see it. See it there? They're so light. <laughs> Holy moly. Just show you what they've got here is they've got a extra little notch there holding the side buttons in. And then obviously a traditional post style. I've got no post travel protection, but actually it doesn't need it because this is so tight, it was pretty good. I don't see any problems with that. Side buttons, they could definitely improve these slightly. They put a little bit of a pre-travel pad on, looks but you see it here? I don't know what that looks like anyway. I think this should be a little bit further back, but that's my personal grip. And they're very small. If you've got big chubby fingers, you might have an issue. Half a gram. And we've got the construction of this magnesium body. So this is only a two-piece, whereas the final mouse is three-piece with the rear, doesn't it, comes off. If you remember, like a clamp. 
which is why you get the um, infinity back. So the one piece this. She's got a little bit of sidebar protection for flexing, but even out even out the out the base, it's pretty pretty strong. I could I could snap it if I'm careful. But it's got some decent protection, and the overall seems pretty well coated with what that purple is anodized. A little bit this way, it's not, but it's not bad. Like that bothers you, but pretty good coating. What do you reckon? This is light. This has got to be. I just find it's over eight grams. Oh, come on. <laughs> Lost me touch. That's what we're saying about open encoders and crap. You see the cat hair there? Already in it. The battery placement is good. It does, the battery placement in this is good. It helps the weight distribution because it's got such a small PCB. The only thing I'm not liking is this cover. Reminds me a bit like um, Ponage did it all. That OEM mouse has it on. And you can see here, like even then, like it might ping out on people because it's not stuck down. So although it's quite a tight fit and it is using the same battery. <laughs> There's no, well, there is, there is a bit of tape. Well, there is, there is tape actually. But that, you saw how easy that came out. I think that might ping out. They probably need to put a bit of extra M3 in there. It feels like that might ping out what it was doing, especially this cover. It is using a smaller JST connector. It looks like a one millimeter, not a 1.5 or 125. But it is a 300 milliamp battery. Better cover on for the uh, temperature stuff, and they've also got a grey wire, not white. Try to dim the colour, maybe. But I still like to see these covered in a sheath. But maybe there is some law against it. I don't know. And then it's got this little tray on the back. And then four screws. It looks like. But again, the same screwdriver, no changes in screwdrivers, which is good. Same screw, looks like it, I'd say it is. They definitely tried to trim out the score wheel. They've done a good job, I say, doing the weight on this. Probably a little bit of weight out of it. We might get a gram or two more out of it. It's good size, not too small either. Maybe we could find a replacement. That back post looks quite thin. Tiny PCB of this. How small this PCB is. This has got some uh, potential modding, but it's a lot of expensive mouses to mod it. And you've got something like the Dragonfly. So it's using the Omron Ops and Mac ones. These are the lighter version, which is why I like them. These are probably one of the better ones, but they sound a bit sound a bit dead pressing them themselves, but overall the overall they feel pretty nice in this mouse, maybe a little bit too light for me. I've been accidentally firing. It's got the PAW3395 DM and it's T6QU. I'm sure you can use the Nordec, but let's have a look. This is hard to read. Here's the Nordec, it's the N5, is it 2840? So it's the Nordec one. If you're interested, so using some good components as well. But it's a nicely uh, optimized PCB. In it? My days. I don't think I'd use this for modding just purely because there's some other cheaper options out there. But this is definitely their own PCB. I haven't seen this PCB around. Maybe 11 mil encoder. <laughs> Eight grams. Got a bit of a pulsar thing going on on the bottom. So it's across, it's a bit like a pulsar. Starlight, uh, Starlight 12, I guess, and a Viper SC kind of theme, this, this mouse. Still pretty firm base. Ain't took the feet off it, did I? I realised. It's one of the things I hate about dot skates or small skates, is that they're always digging. 
you got a soft pad then, that'd be why. These weren't, uh, they don't look to be rounded, which would be a shame. Beast. I like the name of this, to be fair. And then finally the base. Now we've got around to it, here you go. So we could definitely trim out some of this. If we to do a weight mod, I'm not gonna do a destructive weight mod on this. Sorry, just deafened you. Leaning towards my mic. <laughs> Probably the heaviest bit, I'd say the base. No, maybe not. Seven and a half grams, seven. Ta-da! Taken apart. What are my thoughts on it overall build quality? I think it's built really well. This is decent. They've done certainly a very good job of taking a lot of the weight out. The encoder is an issue people keep mentioning. It's got not got a dust cover. A lot of mice have that though, to be fair. I personally like them with a bit of a dust cover, can get a little bit gritty. It's using the better on so Max from on one. It's got the lighter ones, which is good. Side buttons are okay. Could do the full size ones, but everyone goes for the smaller ones because they want to reduce the weight. And the front side buttons are a little bit too far forward for me, but yeah. I'd say the build quality on this is better than the Starlight one. 